It's the type of violent crime you hope never happens to you, but carjackings are increasingly random and frequent in places you'd assume were safe. Help me, I've been kidnapped, my car's been kidnapped. I was just screaming, I was just hysterical. <laughs> The next thing we heard was, get the gun. Don't take this personal, but you're getting jacked. It looks like Grand Theft Auto. I'm having this. But this is no game. He's trying to pull the occupant out. He's thrown the gun. Someone has thrown the gun. Now is the time for units to move in. Tonight, how people are being carjacked on busy streets and in shopping centre car parks. Broad daylight, middle of the day. So, I don't know. I don't know what the world's coming to. Victims left traumatised, their sense of safety gone. I don't care what, what it does to other people, what it does to their lives. It strikes fear into the heart of the victims. I do have really good days, but then there's days that I'm just really down. Julie McRae says she's a broken woman. When you, you know, curled up in your bed and the, you know, tears just fall off the pillow. Husband Chris. She's still my wife, but it's not... Sometimes it, it's a bit of a shell of what she used to be. This mum of three says six weeks ago she became a carjacking victim. She'd left work around 5pm walking through a busy car park. She claimed she was sitting in her car when the door was opened by a man dressed only in his underpants. He just reached in and grabbed the keys out of the, out of the ignition. I reached for them at the same time. Um, I had my hand on the outside here and that's when he punched me. I let go. He reef, grabbed me by the arm and just reefed me out of the car. Julie says she reacted by jumping in the back seat and calling triple zero. We actually got airborne at one stage, so I hit the, my head on the roof. And the car ended up coming to a stop in a ditch. We both got out of the car. I tried to restrain him. But he just got out of my grasp and ran off. A lot of the time I don't sleep. Taylor Hall was left bloodied with four missing teeth after being dragged 50 metres along the road when two thugs stole her car. I could have been brain damaged, I could have been dead. The 18-year-old says she'd been travelling to the beach with her dog when she saw a car crash ahead. Little did she know it was two criminals who just led police on a high-speed chase through the suburbs. The offenders forced Taylor from her car and accelerated as she reached into the vehicle to save her dog. Damien Grimsley was jailed for three years and ten months. Eddie Wells, six years and four months. It just didn't really mean that much to them, but to me it's something like changes my whole life. This frightening account was captured in Melbourne's suburbs. The man tries to stop the driver and appears to be stashing what looks like a weapon. This is something that we haven't seen a lot of previously. Police Commander Tim Hansen works in Melbourne's northwest, which has one of the highest number of carjackings in the state. A little under half of the cars are taken for no other reason than joyriding. I've definitely stolen. So we find them dumped out in the suburbs. Another big component of this theft is an actual organised crime overlay. So the cars, especially high-end cars, are stolen on order and then used for other offences. On the run from police and stopping for nothing, these alleged carjackers collide with a car driven by a young mum. The fugitives allegedly stole a ute using a replica rifle to scare this tradie into handing over his keys. Five years ago, you would feel pretty safe in your own car, but times have changed. In Victoria, carjackings have increased by 36.6% in the last 12 months. And police tell us their counterparts around the country are starting to see the same. CCTV shows 84-year-old Brian Ritchie pulling up in a shopping centre car park. Drug addict Jason Mamalotti walks towards his car. He then pulls open the door and pulls out Brian. I remember my head was about 15 centimetres from the back wheel of the vehicle, which was still, still idling. 
Shockingly, three cars drive past without stopping to help. It's made me more careful. It's made me look around me more than I used to. Anyone on their own is a target, but particularly um, women, young women and elderly people, because they are soft targets. Security expert and former cop Naomi Oakley believes the best place to park in a shopping centre is the top floor. Having um, a better view means, again, you're aware of your surroundings. And if your car's hit from behind... Either go to the police station or you would um, pull over somewhere where it's populated. And if you're worried about not stopping at the accident, mm. you could then, um, when you have the, the, the next opportunity, ring the police and let them know what's happened and why you didn't stop. We arrest people in about two thirds of the cases. There's a very good chance that we're going to catch the offender who steals your car. Everyone has said to me, why did you get in the back of the car? I don't know. I can't tell you why. It was just my reaction. I was just standing my ground. And what gives him the right to take something that's not his just because he stands there and is like demanding my car? Julie's alleged attacker has been charged and is appearing in court next month.